Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be solving another interesting question called reverse list between a range. I think this was a linked list question and the question is you are given a linked list consisting of n nodes. You are also given two integers l and r. Your task is to reverse the node, nodes between this range of l to r inclusive. Okay, so basically what the question is talking about is you will be given some linked list, a singular linked list to be precise and you will also be given a range and you will only reverse the elements which are in that particular range and not before and after. Let's, for example, if I give a range of 2 to 4, so the resultant list should look like this. So... I have drawn this uh, link list, a sample link list of five nodes. Name them L1, L2, L3, and L4. And this is how your final link list should look alike. So from two to four, that is this node to this node, I have reversed it. I have L4, L3, and L2. And the before and the after remain the same. And this is what your output should be. Okay, so here we have a sample input. Uh, I think the first line contains n, that is the total number of elements. Next contains l and r, which is like the range, 2 to 4. So let me take this input and put it out here. Um, so let me just write down the numbers for them. I'll, uh, 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, and 5, I guess. 14, yeah, 14 is the number. And the given range is 2 to 4. 2 to 4 is the range. So I think the resultant should look like 4, 14, 7. And then you should have 6 and 5 as the prefix and the suffix. Let's check it out. 6, 4, 14, and 7. Yes, it's absolutely correct, guys. This is what the output, expected output is. So... I consider, so since uh, this question is actually pretty much simple, to be honest, if this is what we're talking about, a uh, list, but the complexity drastically increases the moment we say about a linked list. I will, the, most of the linked lists are most like a conceptual base because they are uh, dealing with a data structure which manipulates with the, you know, with the, uh, with the next value and nodes which are not exactly the axis with an indices or so. Uh, so there's so many things comes into the picture taking from implementation to the, the to the algorithm that you're putting in. So we'll take one step at a time and I'm not going to talk about the implementation because it's way too early stage. We'll only talk about the algorithm. So I'll quickly give you guys a thinking pause and uh, you know ask you guys how probably you are thinking to solve this question. Come up with your algorithm and later probably I'll talk how I'm going to solve this same question. Okay guys so let's get back. So, if you just follow the instructions, it's pretty much is that. So, here we do know that one chunk of the code is going to talk about the reverse. So, we may call that as one of the helper methods is going to reverse some, some part of the list. That's fine. But, so, first of all, you need to traverse till the starting point of that L and the end and reverse this thing. So, first step is to find a the start of the reverse and then the second step is to find the end of the reverse end of the reverse and to be honest first of all when so you find the start and the in the and the river uh, end of the reverse that chunk is you do re, you know, reverse that's fine that's that's uh, completely true but when you're stitching back that result a reversed version from via this helper method you need to know where to stitch it who's next and whose previous is that going to be or who's next oh so sorry it is not previous because it's singly linked list who's next it should point out to or where it should keep alive so you also need to know who's your previous and who's your next before you change it up so there's again step number three find your reverses previous Fourth, find your reverse n next. So I'm going to find four things. First of all, where is the starting point? Where is the ending point? And next to is the 
who is the previous of the starting and who is the next of the end. So once I find out all this four, I'll just go ahead and I'll reverse it, like a typical reverse manner, how we do it. And post that, I will simply say that, I let me call this as X, Y, and A and B. Or let me just call this as more relevant name as this is prefix and this is suffix. Once I reverse it, okay, once I get my new head to or so, I'll just go ahead and I'll say my prefix of next equals to head to and my at the end, you know, whatever the end that you have, that end of next equals to the suffix case. That's it. That's what I'm going to do. A simple four-step process. First of all, find your variables. Second, reverse it. Third, stitch it back. So this is first step. Second is to call the helper and reverse it. Third is to just stitch it back. Just follow the rules what it has been given. So I really think this question is a more of an implementation heavy because putting down or breaking down the question into smaller problems is simple at times, but writing actual code for that is, is what the matter the most. So I feel this question is one of those questions. So let's see how we can implement this, okay? That's all guys. So let me just quickly check if the code is working or are there any error. Okay guys, so it's fine. Uh, there was some taxical mistakes. I fixed it and it's working fine. So let me explain you what my code is. So as I discussed that I'm going to have my all the four variables of the start of the reverse, uh, end of the reverse, you know, reverse is previous and the reverse end is next. So that's what I'm doing here. As long as I haven't reached my starting point, I'm just considering every current node is equal to previous uh, reverse is previous. The moment I reach my start of the uh, reverse, I'm calling that as my current, that's reverse, that's the place where you start reversing it. And then I'm just simply going ahead and, uh, you know, uh, whenever I get the end, I'm just, you know, making that as my reverse end and then that is reverse end next. So after this whole process, the reverse end next, I'm making it now. So basically all I'm just doing is, the moment I get to four, I'm just breaking this out and this is going to store in a different node. 
altogether. So post that, I am just calling a helper method, which is reverse, a typical reverse. And then I am reattaching, so I'm stitching it back. So step number three, where I stitch it back to the previous, to the reverse end, and then I am just simply calling, uh, if, if you don't have a, a quick check, little check here, if you don't have anything as your previous, then that's what your head is going to do. So basically that means that you started from the starting to the end. Uh, so yeah, that's all, that's all it is. And then you just written back your head guys. So I'll just explain you with the help of this example, uh, which is uh, six, seven, let me just get this, the same one. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is first of all, I'm gonna have my a two to four right so i have like one two three four and five i'm going to point my reverse to this this is going to be my reverse prep and then this is going to be my reverse end and this is going to be my reverse uh, end next so after the process once i get this this and this i'm going to make sure that my reverse of n dot next is equals to null. So basically, I am just bringing it out, and I know what's my reverse, and I'm gonna reverse from this to the rest of the array. I'm, I'm not array, so link list. So once that is done, I'm going to revert, get back written as four, fourteen, and seven is going to be my resultant rev, and I'm gonna just stitch back my this previous to this. So that basically means that I'm going to have a six, which is pointing out to this and this to this this to this and eventually i'm going to get my suffix that is n this is going to pointing out to the this and i'm going to use the five so this is what i'm doing here at the end uh dot next is the reverse end dot next and i'm just simply doing the head back so let's try submitting our code and check it out guys accept it see that's uh that's pretty much the code and here is the whole logic, simply four steps, reverse it and stretch it back. Thank you so much guys.